Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So as most of you know, I got Belle, she's right here, my beautiful new mare, from an auction approximately four weeks ago. She's just so beautiful. She's seven years old, she's a Percheron cross. We don't know exactly what the other half is, but we did discover something else. After reading the title, you obviously know that we discovered something about her. And let me tell you what, the news is absolutely shocking. I really just cannot believe that this is happening right now. With all of the new horses I get, I make sure to have my vet out, do a wellness exam. If there's anything else going on, like some type of lameness, then of course we investigate that. So we did discover something pretty shocking about her. I'm not gonna be able to ride her. I'm not gonna be able to ride her. I was really looking forward to training her and working with her. And after the exam, like we ran some tests and waited to get them back. And unfortunately, she's gonna be out of service for a while. I know. Because she's pregnant! <laughs> I am absolutely ecstatic and beside myself. Can you believe it? I, I literally cannot believe that this is what's happening. I seriously did not think this was actually gonna be the case. I literally just had the vet out, of course, like look her over, overall wellness type of thing. And I was like, you know what? Let's do the blood work just to make sure. I want to do my due diligence, just like I said in her quarantine video. The vet came out, did the blood test, and then it was like a week and a half later. And honestly, like I wasn't thinking like anything of it. I'm just, okay, you know, yeah, she might be, but I highly, highly doubt it. Like I really did not think so. I saw a voicemail from my vet and I was like, oh. <gasps> Oh crap. And I called her and she said she is pregnant and I was freaking the heck out. Like I was walking around my house like a maniac. Like I was so excited. I just, I really did not think this was going to happen. Like 100% did not. Okay. She's like trying to talk to me, the vet. And I'm like, listen, I can't understand anything you're saying right now for like five minutes because I'm so worked up because this is just insane. Like I can't believe it. The only downside is that of course I'm not going to start her like under saddle even though her note said she's been ridden and driven, I mean, I have no idea if she actually has been to what extent. Plus like physically, she needs to be able to be doing the same things that she has been like consistently. I do not want to take any risks. I don't want to stress her out. I don't want to stress out the baby or anything like that. Like if something happened just because I selfishly wanted to start her, train her and ride her, I would never forgive myself. I know they can be ridden up into a certain point before they're going to fall and give birth. However, just with her specific scenario, like I said, just not knowing all of her history, it's about her and the baby right now not me and I just feel in my heart that that's going to be the best decision so of course there's like a million questions like what is she bred with how far along is she well I have no idea I mean seriously like I have no idea what is going to come out of this girl I know it's going to be beautiful no matter what because she's gorgeous but I mean it could be common Amish horses like a Belgian a standard bred another Percheron Frisian I mean I have no idea could be a mule like who knows so we're not really going to find out that part I am still planning on writing them a letter but who knows how much information or what's like exactly valid you know what i mean and we know she's for sure over three months due to her blood test results but today she's actually going to be palpated and we're hopefully going to get her an ultrasound as well i know sometimes the ultrasound machine can be hard to work in the cooler weather so we're going to try and then we'll get a better idea of where she's at like can you believe this horse lovers you should have saw me when this happened i was freaking out i was ecstatic like i just i'm so pumped Let's roll back and look at the film I made on the day she was actually blood tested because literally I thought it was just going to be one of those, I got my auction mare like pregnancy checked or whatever, ran a test on her and then it was going to be false. And then this happened. So I was like, oh my gosh. So let's roll back and just see that just for fun. Today, we are going to check to see if Miss Belle of the Ball is in full, aka pregnant. Now, I don't think she is, but because she was used as a broodmare in the past, from what I'm told on her history, which that's pretty much it, other than she's seven years old and a Percheron cross, which we honestly think it's possibly Andalusian as well, and that she's been ridden and driven at some point, we have no idea to what extent, that is all we know about her. So since I got her from an auction, and because I know she was Amish, and that she was a broodmare, I just wanna do my due diligence and make sure that I get her checked to see if she's in full before we progress any farther in our horse journey together okay so either way it is what it is I don't think she is okay so it's not like oh my gosh I totally think she's pregnant like ah uh, I really don't think she is but I just want to check to be sure and of course I have to bring you horse lovers along with me in this journey Miss Belle 
Are you a mama? Well, I know you are, but are you going to be a mama to another horsey? <laughs> Hi, baby. I'm gonna get you checked out. So that's what she looks like right now. And this is what her teats look like. And that doesn't necessarily mean a foal was for sure pulled off of her, but it's possible but you've definitely had babies. We know that. It will be very interesting to see what the results are. What do you think about it? Sleepy girl, just chilling in the stall. I hosed off her legs earlier and she was so good. You're such a doll. Look how relaxed she is, so much better, I love it. Okay, so we had the pregnancy test done. It was just a blood test and I had to hold her so I couldn't film it, but we're gonna get the results back in a few days, okay? So I will keep you updated. I'm really interested to see the results and I hope you are too, horse lovers. So in a few seconds here, you're gonna see the results, but I'm gonna have to wait a few days. The suspense is killing me. So let's see. So yeah, here we are, we know now, woo! Okay, so the vet's gonna be here soon and I will try to show you as many clips from that as I can because I do have to hold her. So we just have to make sure that all of that's going well and then I'll tell you more information after that. Can you believe it? I'm still freaking out. I just, Belle, you're gonna be a mama again. I'm so excited. Also, she's rocking her beautiful blue halter. Aren't you gorgeous? I don't know, mama. I don't think she looks that pregnant, but that's just me. But we don't know how far along you are yet. But again, just going back to not wanting to ride her until the foal is weaned and all of that, I'm still gonna do some groundwork with her and you know, I might tack her up and that kind of thing, but I'm just not gonna ride her until that foal is weaned. I just, I really don't think it's fair. I think the risks are really high. You know, I just wanna make this about her. This is not about me. My whole mission is to do what's best for the horse. And even though I selfishly would love to ride her and train her right now, and I could, I'm not gonna do that, okay? So I know there's gonna probably be different opinions on that, but I don't really care because I'm doing what's best for my horse and what's in her and the baby's best interest. While we're waiting for the vet to get here, let's do some thank yous. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is so cute. Let's open it up. Just because this is so pretty, we have to look at this. No more dreaming, you deserve all of your wishes. Don't ever forget, what if everything you're going through is preparing you for what you've always asked for? Much love always, Lisa Bus. That is so sweet. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh. Shut up. These are the Ariat boots I've always wanted. Oh my gosh. I have literally always wanted these boots. These are amazing. Thank you so much, Lisa. This is like the best gift ever for me and I really appreciate it so, so much. They are gonna be used all the time with the horses and for riding and training. So thank you again. Thank you so much, Julie, for these paper towels for the barn. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Barbara, for this grooming kit. Thank you so much, Lindsay, for this grazing muzzle. Thank you, Leanne, for this lead rope. I love it. Thank you, Carol, for this super cute riding vest. Thank you for this ulcer guard and for this brand new Western cinch. I can't wait to try it. Thank you so much, Carol. And thank you, Christine, for these gate wheels. These are gonna be perfect for those heavy duty gates we just installed in the front paddock. I really appreciate it. Also, thank you, Lisa, for this cute little trail saddle for Buzz. He's gonna love it and so are his little riders. If you wanna support Free Spirit Equestrian, you can order us something off our Amazon wish list. link in the description. To be completely honest with you, the mud has been so bad this year. It's never been this bad before. I'm honestly so stressed out. So we have a lot of preventative mud creams and all that kind of stuff that help with like scratches, mud fever, or anything that might arise here during the spring. In the wish list, that's what we really need right now. Like it is insane. Like I've never had it this bad before and I am stressing out, but I know it's gonna be okay and it's all gonna dry up soon. But in the meantime, if you're looking to get us something, that's what we're needing. Thank you so much, horse lovers. No, I don't want to freeze all day. Hopefully the ultrasound. Hopefully it works. If you have a little <laughs> table or a wheelbarrow or something where we could get it up off the Yes. Table. I often see something. Do we have two of them? Yep. Two high? Maybe three high, actually. <laughs> Sorry, it doesn't want to work in this kind of weather. And our setup here. This is Dr. Hillary Lobar, the best vet in the world. <laughs> perfect. That'll be, that'll be perfect. Perfect. Bell's like, what is happening? Bell, sorry, we're taking a quick listen to your quick, quick peek at your baby.
Today's vet appointment is essentially to see how far along Belle is in her gestation period. Horses typically have an 11 month gestation period, give or take, and it's gonna be very exciting to see where she's at. So the pregnancy was already for sure confirmed through a blood test, and we just wanna make sure that the baby's okay. And we are going to sedate her for this. So normally you wouldn't have to sedate a pregnant mare, but for safety reasons, we are gonna do this just because she's still anxious around new people and we wanna be as safe as possible. But normally this wouldn't be the case and once she gets more used to everything we won't have to do that so now she's just going to check her heart rate and all of that make sure everything's good to go before we do sedate her and again we just want to be really careful and conscientious like that's the goal here and we don't want to make this a stressful situation for anybody so she's getting the sedation drugs right now and she's being a pretty good girl honestly she's so sweet and precious and she is a good mare but just because knowing she was Amish she probably really hasn't done any of the brood mare stuff that you would normally do she's probably Probably just put out in a field and bred live so we just want to be very very careful there are some risks associated with this and we are very well aware but we decided that this was the best path moving forward with her ultrasound today better safe than sorry is what i always say <laughs> but we just was a frisian know. there's a lot of like frisians yeah, mm -hmm. standard bred belgian it could be a lot of things Pertrug. it could be a miniature horse dad <laughs> I hope we've heard Appaloosa per I think that's kind of less likely than some of the other options. For sure. I think Belgian. Another Percheron, Belgian, or Frisian. Yeah, I think that's a reasonable, reasonable thought. Do you know what farm she came from and what type of things they were breeding? I have their address. I'm going to send them a letter. Well, first I was going to just in general, like, has yeah. she actually been sat on before? <laughs> but now I'm going to be like, well, what was she bred with? Oh, big drafty creature. Good girl. Good girl. I know, it's a little rude. For the watching audience, we're just getting poop out of the way so I can feel the fetus. <laughs> so horses, we don't really do transabdominal ultrasounds for pregnancy diagnosis. The colon's really big and air-filled, so you can't really ultrasound through it. So most of our reproductive ultrasounds are um, transrectal. I feel fetus, so um, that makes us, me think we're closer rather than farther out. Oh my gosh. Because, um, you know, like seven or eight months, is you can start to feel it again around the eight-month mark. So right there is, well, on the left side of the screen, that looks like... Some baby part. So we see placenta and some that black is amniotic fluid. Okay. And we're seeing a joint that looks like a hock joint right there. That's that's her that's its talus. So it's hock is sticking up here. Um, so we're not super duper close. Like that's definitely hock. <laughs> okay. Which is a weird part to see. Um, we're not super duper close because the baby's not in the right position yet. Okay. It's still kind of backwards. Okay. But it doesn't feel giant, so I think we're probably two months out, maybe. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. So definitely, definitely pregnant. We're oh definitely seeing, goodness. see that, like, you remember hawk x-rays where you see, like, that yeah. like, curvy part? Yeah. The baby might be a little sleepy because they made the mare sleepy. Yeah, that's true. Which, you know, I don't like to sedate pregnant mares a ton, but for safety yeah, and for to sure. confirm and to know when she's yeah. due, it feels worth it. Oh, absolutely. Know. A little slight risk of sedation versus the risk of me getting kicked or causing any kind of tear or anything right. if she's... Right. Fractious, because we don't know her. If she was a... Yeah, if this was a horse we had for a while, then we knew. Yeah. With as mineralized, with as big as it is in the mineralized data, that's like two months out, maybe, maybe three months out. Wow. Um, so I'm glad we checked. Mm -hmm. So we're so looking we're at May or June-ish. Yeah, yeah, May probably. Okay, somewhere, somewhere in there. Wow, that's soon. Soon. Yeah, you good? Yeah. May or June? Yep, we're good. Um, you're gonna watch for utter development. You're gonna watch for um, relaxing of the musculature around her tail head. So, like, she won't look like she's losing weight, but it'll look like this is sticking up a little bit because this is gonna okay. relax and sink down a little like bit. Like her croup? Here. Like her croup's gonna okay. drop and sink down a little bit. Um, her vulva may look a bit more stretched out. Mm -hmm. May she waxing of the teeth? Sometimes made in there. She's not a maiden. So yeah. You should see waxing. You should see some fairly significant underdevelopment. 
Um, as far as health care for her for now, start her on there, full feed. Okay. Because we're probably in that last trimester. Just something to make sure she's at least 14% protein, okay. getting, you know, getting some good calories. She can have some alfalfa hay in addition okay. to grass. Weaning is, that's typically like six to eight months, right? Six to eight months, sometimes earlier if, um, if the mare's losing a lot of condition. Yeah. So sometimes that happens that the baby's just sucking the life out of the mare and we're struggling to keep right. weight on her. Um, sometimes a little earlier if it's a colt because they start having some naughty behaviors like mounting the yeah. mare and stuff like that. Well, they said they sold her because they couldn't afford the hay, so maybe yeah, they, they knew, they're, maybe they knew oh, a second horse was coming. They may have known she was yeah, coming. I don't know. It's okay. She's with and us. She's, you know, she's, at, she's at a healthy weight right now. She's yeah. not thin. I want her to gain a little, though. Gaining would be fine. Yeah. Um, you know, she's in that last trimester where we do yeah. want to feed them a little more. And once she has the baby, her nutritional needs are actually going to go up. Yeah, for sure. Because, like, it's she's, harder to lactate than to just be right. pregnant. Yeah, for sure. So, um, burns a lot of calories. Yes, it burns a lot of calories. And that sometimes is a reason we wean early. If, okay. If we're just yeah. cannot keep weight on the mare and she's just... And she's okay to have like up. second cutting, right? Yep. Second okay. cutting is fine. A little bit of alfalfa is fine. Yeah. We usually, we leave them in the stall for the first 24 hours okay. or so just to make sure that yeah. the fool is getting up and down consistently and that they're well bonded. And as yeah. soon as the baby is confident getting up and down and walking on its own and... She'll have mare the choice. Are bonded. I'll have that big like, stall open outside. so she, they can go... She can choose if she wants yeah. to do it right in that little paddock or in the straw in the stall. Yeah. So... So I've been that, doing, that should be fine. Okay. What are your thoughts on like training her and riding her? Because I'm personally not going to, just because I, I don't want to. That's a good to. choice for her. Yeah. Because uh, we don't. Know it her would be. We don't know her. her. We don't know if she's broke to ride. Yeah. It would be different if she was a performance mare who yes. was trained. Um, some of those we do ride. Yeah. At up least until, up until like probably about this point is where we would be stopping up okay. until what we'd consider their last trimester. Yeah. Because she has, we don't know her work history. We don't know if she's broke to ride that would be pretty stressful. It's kind of like people, yeah. like if this is an activity you've always done, you can continue doing, doing it while yes. pregnant. But since and that's exactly new, what I think. We don't too. need to do, yeah. um, we don't need to start all of that. And honestly, I like, this is just personally me. When she has the full, I know some people write, I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to wait until just wait. I would probably just wait till she's weaned to the full. Because well, I was reading, they say like, you have to kind of restrain the full or like, it, like again, if I knew her, but could you imagine yeah. I'm trying to ride her and she gets nervous and there's a foal there? Like I just, it doesn't yeah, make any sense um, for this know, the situation. Horses, horses who are broke, like I've yeah. known plenty of people who like, you know, sit on the mare and ride the mare around the green when you know when the baby's there. But we Nothing don't know wrong her history. That. We don't know if she's even broke to ride. Right. Um, we don't. And once she has the baby, she'll probably be pretty worried about where the baby is most True. of the time and probably not be really focused. Um, you know, groundwork is still fine. Oh, working yeah. on manners, that kind of thing. And, Certainly when baby comes, you want to work yeah. with, with baby right away so yes. that it's not wild wild and terrible. Um, and I can do like some, you know, just walk trot on the lunge, like yeah. even just like tapping up, her, just like that kind of stuff, just, just quiet, quiet, easy quiet. things, okay. nothing to stress her. And unless something goes haywire and she gets really sick, we shouldn't have any reason to sedate her or do anything, okay. any other medical procedures other than confirming that she was yeah. pregnant. And okay. we sedated her. <laughs> We sedated her because we don't know her. We don't know her history. And yeah. for safety reasons, we don't have stocks. We don't have another way yeah. to be safe. I completely agree today. with that. Um, safety first. Yes. We wanted to be <laughs> safe and be sure. And we, you know, that's why we didn't palpate her right off the bat. Because we, yeah. we don't know her. And we don't right. know her her history and her behavior. And she's a big, powerful mare. And we want to be Definitely. careful. Okay. Uh, if we had stocks, we may have been a little more yeah. cavalier about yeah, exactly. it, but we don't. We don't. <laughs> With all of that being said, this is my first experience with a pregnant mare or pregnant anything, to be honest, and I've never had a foal or anything like that. So this is going to be awesome. Obviously, I'm doing tons of research. I'm reaching out to friends who are breeders and have a lot of experience with this type of thing. I'm getting everything set up. So I know a little bit more now because I've been diving really deep into what's going to be best for her. I have a foaling stall with a walkout paddock. And that will be great. I'll put straw in there. I mean, I understand what her teats are going to look like when she's about ready to give birth, like the waxing and the milk and all of that and the testing strips. So, I mean, I have a little bit of an idea now, but help, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. And I'm going to obviously continue to research so that I can give her and this baby the best experience possible and do everything I can to make her delivery successful. But yeah, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like with mud season right now, it's like the worst time of the year, March 
is horrible. March Madness in Michigan, the mud, I just want to freak. This is the month where I'm like, why do I have horses? Okay, so then this is like the little cherry on top, but I know that this is very exciting and that this mud is going to pass like in a month and a half. These paddocks are going to be bone dry, okay? It's just insane to me how much the clay changes. Okay, sorry, I'm on like this ramp, but I'm just on this whole other level right now, okay? I'm completely pumped. So if you have any advice, make sure to comment below. I'm gonna do everything I can for her and this baby and I know that everything's gonna go well and I'm just gonna trust the process and do my due diligence. Okay, horse lovers, I hope that you loved this amazing news. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications so you don't miss any updates regarding Belle and this process. I am absolutely beside myself. This is gonna be amazing and this is so exciting. I hope you're excited too. Also, I did add a few things on the Amazon wish list that we might need for the full and for bell and if you have any ideas on different types of supplies we might need comment below oh my gosh okay horse lovers i'm gonna be doing a update video talking a little bit more about her pregnancy later this week so make sure that you stay tuned and i'll see you next time horse lovers bye